Hello everyone, I am Afifa Zainab and I am a PhD student from Tohoku University, Japan. I am working in the System Bioinformatics Lab under the supervision of Professor Kinoshida Sensei. So let's discuss about the poster I'm going to present today. It is about my PhD work, which is cross-population functional annotation of the lung function genome-wide association study uh, by utilizing the SNP uh, and gene prioritization methods. So the basic motivation and objective behind the study was that uh, there have been many uh, risk associated loci that have been identified using GWAS, but the interpretation of the GWAS studies and the functional annotation or association is not very clear. So therefore, it is very important that we prioritize the GWAS signals and uh, for, in order to do that, mostly the inclusion of the functional annotation and gene expression data is a crucial step. Uh, so another um, possible aspect about the GWAS is that when we come to um, comparing the cross-population GWAS studies, it seems to be very difficult uh, because of many factors, including the data privacy and difficult to conduct uh, due to the um, geographical uh, challenges and many other aspects. And also the access to the raw genotype data is very really limited. Therefore, in this study, we aim to perform the computational analysis to identify the cross-population functional diversity using the GWA summary statistics results as the GWA summary statistics are easily available and it can be utilized in order to interpret the results and prioritize GWA. Uh, we have designed this study in a way that uh, we, uh, the, both of the GWAS, like the G, uh, summary statistics data from each of the GWAS, was uh, analyzed separately in order to get the prioritized gene list out of the each of the GWAS because uh, normally we see that in the meta-analysis and other comparative analysis tools all the uh, prioritized uh, all the studies results are compiled which actually somehow eliminates the uniqueness of each of the studies so in order to maintain uh, the unique uh, and different uh, value of each of the study, we uh, analyzed each of the, um, the GWAS results separately for each of the population. And after getting the prioritized gene list uh, by utilizing the FUMA, we have then compared the gene list and identified that which are the common genes which are present in both of the populations and what pathways are actually enriched by these genes. And this actually then led to the identification of the novel genes which were actually not reported in the original he was out of which the summary statistics data was utilized. The computational tool that we have utilized in this study is uh, FUMA, which is Functional Mapping and Notation of Genome-Wide Association Study. It actually consists of two different steps, including the SNP to gene and gene to function. Firstly, we have utilized the uh, mapping techniques in order to position the SNPs uh, to their respective genes using positional mapping, EQTL mapping, and chromatin interaction mapping. Uh, and after getting the list of the prioritized genes from this SNP to gene function, we have further analyzed the genes in order to identify the expression of those genes and enrichment of the pathways with their respective um, function and how they affect the phenotype. So moving toward the next, uh, the GWAS uh, results data, GWAS data that we have used in this study was a uh, forced expiratory volume in one second. And um, the uh, lung function GWAS were taken from the European population and the Japanese population. The European dataset was taken from the Spirometa Consortium cohort and the community-based cohort from the study of uh, Tomo, the Toko University Mega Bank was taken for the Japanese population cohorts. And there were 14,000 participants in the Japanese cohort were 79,055 participants in the European. Furthermore, um, the first step in the analysis of the results was that a magma gene-based test was performed and uh, gene, uh, associated loci which were obtained from the input GWAS uh, summary statistics were mapped to the reference genomes in order to check the uh, position of the genes uh, in which they correspond. In case of the Japanese, it's each East Asian population, and the, in case of European, the thousand genome uh, project, uh, the reference genome of European population was used. 
Uh, furthermore, in the next step, uh, the gene uh, SNP and gene prioritization was performed, and uh, the summary of the results is shown over here. This is the summary for the Japanese population, and this one is for the European population. So basically, three different type of mappings were utilized. Positional mapping using the CAT score for identification of the deleteriousness, while the EQTL mapping was used in order to uh, include the expression data of the lung function tissues. And as a result of uh, these mapping, uh, we have obtained 50 genes uh, in case of Japanese population and the 84 genes in case of uh, the European population being prioritized. And uh, this is also one of the SNP uh, prioritization results, that is, uh, ANOVAR was utilized for the SNP annotation. And we can see that most of uh, the GWAS results were consisting of the intronic SNPs, which are non coding regions. So if we uh, really need to identify the causal associated genes or the causal associated variant, we need to interpret the GWAS results and identify whether they are actually associated with the risk or not. So this is the overall summarized results of the post GWAS cross population analysis. Uh, the um, Japanese GWAS was consisting of the 14,000 uh, sample and uh, the European GWAS consisted of 79. And there were three risk loci identified in the Japanese population, while the 21 risk loci were identified in the European GWAS studies, out of which the 50 genes were prioritized in Japanese and 84 in the European. And when the results were compared, there were 28 common genes found to be present in both of the populations, thus giving us the view that the, these genes can be journalized as common in related to the lung function in different populations. As a conclusion, uh, in, the, in this post GWAS analysis of the lung function um, between two different population GWAS through functional prioritization, we identified the common sets of SNPs and genes which are associated with the risk loci. And this analysis not only repl replicated the previous findings, but it also gave the evidence and also identified some novel gene candidates which were not reported in the previous studies. Um, for example, it has in, uh, so find out the association of the risk associated such as DDAH2, which is a gene which is related to the um, uh, upregulation of the nitric oxide and uh, also related with uh, the um, COPD, and it was not reported in the original studies. So we believe that the study will help in understanding the complex genetic mechanisms related to the disease, considering the ethnic diversity. And furthermore, it was supported by the GST Spring uh, Tohoku University grant number, the uh, G, um, uh, GST Spring project uh, grant. And uh, furthermore, other data sets can also be included in the future uh, in order to further explore the results. And uh, we believe that the experimental research is further required in order to validate the foundings. And uh, um, in order for details, you can see the poster. And also, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Thank you so much.